Okay, we're back. We're live on Tuesday morning. This is Think Tech, Think Tech. And we are, we're talking today with Guy Buffet. Say it after me, Guy Buffet. It's French. Mm. One more time, Guy Buffet. I'll be in a final exam. Guy Buffet was born in Paris in 1943. That's right. Yeah. Um, and, and that's in France, by the way. He has had a <laughs> wonderful time wandering and traveling and painting all over the world. It strikes me that, you know, travel is broadening. Well, it has been especially so for Guy Buffet. I think all his Tahitian, uh, famous Tahitian artwork, it, it, and it looks like Gauguin, I'm sorry, am, am I right about that? Am I touching a nerve? Yeah, you can say that. Okay, <clears throat> I, I can say that. It does look like Gauguin. Um, but he has created more iconic images of waiters. It looks like the 19th century. Can I say that? Well, the, 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 way, the chefs and waiters are really timeless, you know, just started beginning of the century until uh, today, you know. So uh, nothing changed that much in France, especially in France. A lot of them had France. mustaches. Yeah. 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 And, and they all wore tuxedos and French, um, French restaurant outfits. Your French restaurant, uh, which was, what's the name of the French restaurant in your family? Uh, Angels? Yeah. Angels it, of Paris? Yeah, actually in French it was called Chez les Anges, you mean at the Angels. So, Angel, in House of Angels. Angels place, yeah. And, and uh, your family ran, ran for many years near the Eiffel Tower? They ran that restaurant for about 20 years, I think. Yeah. Did, did, uh, were there waiters in that restaurant that looked like the waiters in your art? Some of them, yeah. yeah. You have a lot of restaurant yeah. pictures in your portfolio, tons and tons of them. Well, you know, that's, that's where it started. Uh, it started with the restaurant, and then after that I started working for the Champagne uh, Campagne Perrier Jouet, which is the bottle, the flower bottle. Doing branding and art for them, yeah. Well, doing, no, doing mostly uh, posters and designs for them. And then... Uh, in, fr that, in France, posters are an art form. Well, yeah, they still, uh, as a promotion, we use this as a promotion. Yeah. So therefore, this opened the doors to many other uh, uh, venues such as, uh, you know, Three stars, uh, chefs in, in France and all over Europe. You like, like food? And well, I like. Uh, I'm not. Uh, although I, I know the best chefs in the world, but personally, I like. I'm not, I, I like simple food. You know, yeah. I just. Uh, I mean, especially now. But uh, I'm very pleased with can what we call the bistro food. You know, not not bistro food. Uh, not, uh, not 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 heavy. Not, I don't need uh, you know a ten course uh, dinner or lunch. Yeah. yeah but okay. Uh, you have certain themes. We're going to cover those themes. Anyway, uh, one of those themes is, uh, is Hawaii. And, um, you know, you spent many years in Hawaii, and um, you have uh, contributed to Hawaii's art, I must say. You know, we have, we have people who do art, but not, not like you. You have found the essence of Hawaii. Isn't that interesting? And maybe you have to be a world traveler. So all the way King Kalakaua was a world traveler to appreciate exactly, you know, the, the fundamental uh, profundity of art. Um, anyway, um, <clears throat> you are a dog lover. I saw the dogs throughout your work, and I wanted to ask you what breed, but it seems like you like all the breeds. Do you mean for myself or yeah. as a whole? I, I love, you know, all dogs. I'm not, you know, this one. Yeah, all dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because, <laughs> because they're always in a good mood and uh, they make me feel good. Yeah. You know, like, uh, yeah. 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 You're always in a good mood, aren't you? And if you're not in a good mood, you don't paint, right? That's right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but painting probably puts you in a good mood because it lets you express the, oh, yeah, the I'm, humor and I'm the I'm always in a good mood. You can ask my girlfriend or my uh, co workers. And, Try to be, yeah, every day. I look up, you know, I'm always doing something new every day. You know, I work on another painting, something. So that keeps me going. You have different styles. The painting I have, which I will show you, <clears throat> looks like a sort of a pen and ink. It's, it's a French scene, and it's pen and ink. But then some of the work you've done here, it, it looks more like Gauguin, where the, where the lines are not... They're not pen and ink at all. They're, they're kind of oily looking. 
Um, do you always use the same media? What kind of media do you use? Well, I always use basically uh, watercolors and acrylic. But as far as styles, you know, it's obvious. You know, I have a studio in France. And what I do in France is different than what I do. Ah, ah, this the, is going to be on the final exam. That's right. Okay. So I have a studio in France. I have a studio in California. And then one, uh, I, I don't have one here anymore. But uh, I used to, you know, I lived here most of my life. Actually, you can divide my, my life in three parts. You yes. know? One third in France, one third in Hawaii, and one third in, in California. So, and I, not counting all the trips, I, did, I, I went about four times around the world, and uh, I did a lot of projects abroad, such as in China, and spent a lot of time in, in Tahiti also, and I spent six months in Bora Bora, not too long ago, doing a new hotel on the island of Bora Bora for the Intercontinental. Yeah, the Navy, I want to know about the Navy. Uh, the Navy, the Navy, that's, that's how it started, you know. I, as a matter of fact, I, I, was at, I studied art at the Beaux-Arts School of Toulon, which is in the south of France. And I, was, and I joined the Navy when I was 19, 19 years old. And that's how I did. I was sent around the world on that, uh, for a trip. And that's how I first came to Hawaii in, uh, in 1962. I was 19 years old. And since I was the artist aboard, you know, I was asked if I could do illustration of the Oh, you're the uh, official uh, artist on the ship? Well, sort of official, but that <laughs> was asked to do the illustration for the book that we were going to publish after the road trip. While I was in Honolulu for the first time, I mean, because I came twice, but it's too long a story, but anyway, I start with this, the, the Navy. That's what, the first time I came to Hawaii. I had, we had a show on the, on the ship, a little show on my ship, which was uh, anchored right there by Aloha Tower. And that's where I met the, the Cook family from uh, Molokai and, uh, and Honolulu. And they, they were very much interested in what I was doing. And then uh, we became friends, and they said, we really like you to come back to Hawaii and paint our islands. You know, we, we'll take care of you, send you the ticket, get you a place to stay, a car, anything you need. I mean, I thought it's too good to be true, but when I was dis discharged from the Navy, you know, I went back to Toulon, and that's where I was living at the time. That's where you went to art school. That's where I went to art school. And so my options were go back to art school and finish you know, about five more years to go before I get a diploma, or go, go to Hawaii. So the the opportunity was too, too great to miss. So I said, I, I better do this. So I decided to come back. So I came back to Hawaii uh, in 1963, in November 1963. I would say the rest is history, except we're going to cover it. <laughs> so, so Dale Madden, how much of what Guy has said so far do you agree with? Just about everything. <laughs> um, I, and, and particularly... Uh, I'm also a lover of France, and so I actually originally fell in love with all of his French paintings. I have quite a bit of it down in my house uh, in Indian Wells, California. So does that mean you like the French paintings more than some of the other No, genres? because as a, as a kid growing up in Hawaii, you know, you have a, a, I love all the, the art I've seen, and I've seen actually a lot of his work, because I also travel a lot. It's amazing how many places yeah. He has done amazing art with, and uh, where it's featured. You've been partners and promoters, uh, uh, involved in various deals uh, with Guy and others. I guess it's in, in the art world? Mostly we've done some art together, but uh, when I bought Island Heritage back in the early 1980s, there were some wonderful children's books. That was from books. Bob Goodman. From Bob Goodman. And I told you before Similar. the show that my law firm represented Island Heritage and Bob Goodman for many years. Yeah. Amazing. In fact, when Guy's books were being published by Island Heritage right? way back when, yeah. 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 Well, and, oh, it was in the 70s. Yeah, right? yeah. Exactly. And they had very long life. Uh, it was quite remarkable. I, I wish I could get him to do... Uh, 21st century version of them, so I could take the manuscripts and put it back together with new art. But it's, uh, I've 
known Guy for quite a long time, and it was great to meet him years ago and uh, get to know him. Well, so I know we're going to cover more, but uh, what, what, is the, what is the secret of Guy's success? Lots of talent. <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> if I if I if I had that kind of talent, I would have been an artist. But I had to go create companies and products with other people's art. But he's had a meteoric rise, though, in this world. <clears throat> he's everywhere. He's global. He's been in so many things that appeal to so many people. I mean, he's found his uh, his artistic niche, but also his niche in, in the global art world. Um, and how do you do that? How do you how do you find a niche in the global art world? Well, I think for Guy, it's been about the markets and like the Napa Valley, and obviously comes through his well, eyes. Well, you know, and his I, yeah, let me say something. You know, something. What happened also in about twenty years ago, I started doing uh, plates, designs on, on plates, uh, and that was uh, for the Champagne Company in France. And uh, posters. No, I, 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 we did special plates, dinner okay, okay. plates. Oh, dinner plates. And then uh, after that, you know, which was kind of limited market. And then uh, because of it, we got contacted by the William Sonoma stores of the, of the, the U.S., you know. And they say, oh, we'd like to, to sell these plates in our stores. So talking about promotion, you know, here I, I get a contract with a company that has 350 stores in the U.S., 25 million customers and catalogs and every month. And, so, and here I'm on the cover of most of their catalog and give you a give you So and in, in a few weeks, you know, from being known in Hawaii and California, I became known nationwide. So a good thing of a promotion like that, it would be very expensive if you had to do this sure. on your own to promote your name. So this, uh, with the, so the product with the books, uh, with the painting, and then you know the, the posters and uh, all the postcards, and uh, there's so many things to help put the name around. And then that's when then I started to work not only for uh, for uh, for different wineries, but also hotels, cruise ships. You know, right now I'm I'm still you know. Uh, with uh, Crystal Cruises doing cruises yeah, yeah. with oh, them. Yeah, that's and a good then, line. And, and then, yeah, I did the uh, paintings for the, the, the bistro and the restaurants. Do you go on the ship and I, talk I about your art? I go on the ship and then we have a talk like, like we have today. And then also maybe a little workshop with the passengers, you know, to come up to do watercolor. You show, them how, you show them how you paint? Yeah. yeah. You show them how they should paint? <laughs> yeah, well... So anyway, that's, you, know, you do need talent. <laughs> you can't paint without that's the talent. foundation of it all, isn't it? <laughs> so that's what. But uh, to finish what you were saying, I, I said the best of life. You know that Dale agrees with me. Also, though Dale was born here, but for me, the best years of my life will always be when I spent, uh, let's say, six months in Maui and six months in Paris. I had. Well, for, I did that for 10 years, you know, the best. Half of the time in France, half of the time in Hawaii. Yeah, so that's, you, that's the best you, you can You smile do. when you paint? That would make me smile, yes. <laughs> that's so <laughs> real. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> well, you know, for example, I mean, there's, there's this, we'll look at your art in a minute, but there's this uh, thing where you have cows wearing little booties. I, I would be smiling if I painted that. <laughs> where you have the, the, uh, the, the art fence here on Kapahulu Avenue. Uh, and, um, yeah, the artists. And, and you have the animals from the zoo looking over the fence. <laughs> I mean, I would smile <laughs> if I painted that. Well, so you have, you have a very crisp sense of humor. Well, I think it's important. It's good for anybody. You don't have to be an artist to have a sense of humor. I think you do, and Dale does, certainly. <laughs> so, you know, it helps you to keep it going. Don't you live. Exactly. <laughs> don't take yourself too seriously. So we have, we have two books. I want to show the books. Sure. Are these both Island Heritage, Dale? Did you publish these? Uh, no. No. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you talk about them? Um, well, you know, you know, you know the one of the publishers. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we got, first, we got this one, Fair Nights and Sunny Days. Okay. And um, let's see if I can get a good shot of that. And, and then we have The World of Guy Buffet, which is thicker. 
and it has more classical, this, this drawings and everything. So what's the difference between Fair Nights and Sunny Days and the world of Guy Buffet? Well, um, Fair Nights and Sunny Days is uh, mostly is all Hawaiian paintings. As in the world of Guy Buffet, you have a different uh, it's everything. style. It's everything from France to China to Tahiti to Hawaii. It's broken and, up in uh, chapters. It's broken up in chapters, yeah. yeah. Little Hawaii, little uh, France. Exactly, little, yeah. yeah. And we had another one, is the same publisher was Guy Buffet Hawaii. And what I was with Island Heritage was mostly, uh, we did uh, children's books. Mm, yeah, I remember that. So uh, we're going to take a break now, Guy and, and Dale. But before we do, I, I, I wonder if I could ask you for a small personal favor. Could you just hold your hands up for the camera? I'd like them to see what your hands look like. Those are the hands of an artist. I'm not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Guy. Thank you, Dan. We'll be right back after this short break. Aloha. My name is Mark Schlav. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea program. My program airs every other Monday at 1 o'clock on Think Tech Hawaii. Most of my programs deal with my own life and law experience. Recently, I interviewed Alex Jempel, who I have known for over 30 years about his voyage across the sea as a lawyer from Tokyo to Hawaii. Those are the type of stories that I like to bring and like to talk about. Human stories about law and life. Aloha. Aloha. My name is Becky Sampson, and I'm the host of It's About Time. On the Think Tech Hawaii, a digital nonprofit organization that's raising public awareness. Join us on Wednesday at 2 p.m where we talk about real issues. Some of the topics will include entrepreneurship, health, life skills, and growing your business. So once again, this is Becky Sampson on It's About Time on Wednesday at 2 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Mahalo. Okay, we're here with Guy Buffet and uh, Dale Madden, and we're, you know, we're going to spend a little time looking at Guy's these, uh, paintings. So the first one on the list is a, is a, and we'll show it on the screen, is a painting of a waiter. Of course, you spoke about waiters before. And this is called Happy Anniversary. And there are various symbols in there of an anniversary. What did you intend to portray in this painting? Well, uh... What, what do you mean? When I, it, it's a celebration, you know, for a birthday, and then uh, I put the parrot uh, because, you know. Well, yeah, the parrot is why the is parrot the parrot. Is, sing, is singing happy birthday to you or something like that, you know. And the champagne, of course. And the, is the bubbles and the champagne, and then, uh, and then this is the champagne I was, that I did uh, uh, work for. You you've know. worked on this bottle of sure, champagne, yeah. yeah. And he is sharing, the waiter is sharing the, the joy of the anniversary. He's That's part right, of yeah, the process. Yeah. Yeah. And he's very French, bow tie and everything. Okay. Um, that's, that's very special. I mean, I'm, you know, I want you to know I'd, I'd have any one of these in my house. And if I had a million billion, I would cover my walls with this one. Good. I have nothing against that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay. Here's another one. Ah, this is called Bastille Day. On the Champs Elysees, very symbolic, very symbolic, um, and um, you you really love French street scenes. You've painted so many of them. Well, but, yeah, yeah. This is a famous uh, restaurant on the Champs Elysees called the uh, Fouquet's. I don't uh, know if you've been there, but to, uh, number of times. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, what you're you're trying to demonstrate the atmosphere of a French restaurant. At the, at the very center of French culture, the Champs Elysees. Yeah, Zay. but uh, you know, I mean, this is this is this is a restaurant, but it's also a, a brasserie, a cafe, everything you want. Yeah. You know, the, the French people love to be outside on the terrace and on the sidewalk to for to, to have their cocktails. So it this is about cocktail time on the Champs Elysees, and, and this is you see all the flags because it's. Bastille Day. So well, they, Bastille Day is yeah, a right. celebration. That's yeah. right. Very important French holiday. Uh, what is it? Uh, Rouillet 14. 14 Rouillet. 14 Rouillet. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Taylor, you should have corrected me. <laughs> now, were you there? 
I mean, were you uh, painting no, there? No, in the this? kitchen, in the, in the bar, uh, in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Uh, weekend up country. We're, we're flashing to Maui now. Back up, to Maui, yeah. Up, up country Maui. And it's, it's, uh, you like waterfalls. I see waterfalls in a lot of your work. And a little house. And the people are so charming. The people are so con convivial. And they always are in your paintings of Hawaii, you know? Yeah. Again, like I said, this is not a specific uh, place, but it, it's just want to capture the spirit of Hawaii. And uh, this is, you know, a day in the country. You can see they, they all get together for, uh, for a drink. She has a new baby, and she wants to show the new baby to her sister Perfect. or cousins. It's, a, it's every day we can up country Maui. Although this is more on the Hana side because the mountains are quite high here, as uh, you know, a country, you, you, you know, you're on the slope of Valley Akala. But yeah, it's, it's some of the little vignettes that I do of the islands. You know, yes. Uh, well, I would say you've, been, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, Dale, um, you have incorporated the spirit of Hawaii into your, your art. I mean, you have captured it. Not everybody can do that. Even people, even local people can't do that sometimes. But you have found the, the, the heart and soul you have, in my opinion. But don't you think he also has been able to do that in so many places around the world? I do. Um, I agree. That's one of the very special talents. I think. Yeah. Well, travel is broadening. Yeah, it is. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Um, oh, this is, is, is this the one we're using as a background? No, this is another one. Uh, Hula School. On the Hana coast, uh, there's some more waterfalls. You get one, two, three, four, five waterfalls. Yeah, yeah. You really like waterfalls. And Hana, you like Hana. Did well, you... I, I had good friends there in Hana that I used to visit uh, quite often. And <clears throat> his name was uh, Carl Lenquist. I knew Carl very you know well. I knew Carl very yeah. well. And then I did another painting recently because I don't know if you heard the story. Carl was the manager of the. Uh, Anna Hotel. Hotel. Oh, the Hunter Ranch. You can tell Hunter what Hotel. I, you can tell. Same. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is it? Used to be called the Hunter Ranch Hotel. Yeah. Well, anyway, Carl and his wife uh, died tragically in a car accident. Car, yeah. uh, going past a uh, waterfall, you know, doing a. And so I did a painting, and this is not the one, but I did a painting where. I have both of them at the, by the waterfall, and yeah. because we never found the, the car or the body. I know just exactly where this fits in my house. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, this one is called Ladies of Diamond Head, and actually it's one of my favorites of all the ones that, that, that have been collected for the show. Uh, why is that? Why is it one of my favorite ones? Because it captures Diamond Head, it captures women of Hawaii, it captures history of Hawaii. I mean, this is, this is something that isn't necessarily today. It could be in the 19th yeah, century no, no, just as easily. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I did one also, but with, with Doug, it was called uh, Miss Waikiki. <laughs> 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 but the, the dog instead of ladies. I don't think, I think it's in the book. Well, but anyway, we, uh, that, was, that was a fun piece. And uh, that's been popular. And, uh, they did a shirt with uh, yeah. Wayne Spooner. Did. I hope you can appreciate this, the, the women. It's, they're beautiful. They're the essence of the, the finest uh, characteristics of Hawaii. Okay, ladies of Diamond Head, meeting at the Rainbow, Rainbow Bridge Cafe. So now we're entering into an examination of how much you like rainbows. <laughs> rainbows. But what is this one about? Well, you know, this is, this is not, I don't, it's not a Hawaiian. Uh... Folktale, but I think it's it's a old folktale in in the U.S. or the world. I don't universal. know the origin. It's kind of universal. But they say when your favorite pet passes away, uh, he'd be waiting for you at the Rainbow Bridge when you. Oh yeah, that's, uh, they that's, always say that. That's right. And we've lost some pets, and it's always the pet is waiting so for you at the this, Rainbow this Bridge. This is the my interpretation of the this this legend. We have a Hawaiian background and feeling. Perfect. 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 And there are pets, all kinds of pets. <laughs> yeah, I think in this I picture. even put a cat in it. Okay. Now we get into dogs. 
and I, I need interpretation on this one, a tropical honeymoon with two, do two dogs who were like dolled up with, with, with uh, sashes, um, yeah. and it's on a bed, yeah. and it's a, it's a honeymoon picture. Are there people in this picture or just the dogs? Just the dog. I did this painting in, in Boa Boa, actually. Because the island of Boa Boa has more dogs than people. <laughs> and, uh, but you know the French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and Boa Boa is also the place for honeymoon. So I said, why, why don't I do two dogs in the honeymoon? It's perfect. He's smiling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> do you like Bora Bora or Maria? Which one? Well, you know, um, I like Boa Boa, of course, because of the... I, I don't the, know. The it's very special. Yeah. Moria is getting too crowded. Yeah, a lot of hotels uh, there. Yeah. yeah. Bor Bor is more remote to the far end. Yeah. Ah, I mean, that's yeah. beauty. Yeah. And they speak French in Tahiti. In fact, they don't speak a lot of English. They do now. They do oh, now. Yeah, oh, yeah. I haven't been there in 20 years. Yeah. yeah. I love your dogs. You have dogs? Yeah, we have one. I have one. I have one. In California and one in, in France. Do they know each other? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I... What I'll, breeds the... Uh, okay. It's a, a Cocker and a, and a Boston Terrier. Let's, let's, let's go to Rue uh, Saint-Dominique. Uh, yeah, let's see. Um, wait, wait. He's, he's not uh, vent. He's not vent. Did I get that right? He's not vent. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's even, he, that's even before because that's Paris. In, I would say in the 1900. Yeah. And the Rue Saint-Dominique has a, a well-known uh, outdoor market. Every day, you know, you can go there. <clears throat> and uh, I, I used to live in that district. Uh, what, what should we be looking at in this? There's so much action here. Uh, what would you point us to in this painting? Well, then, of course, you, you have all the, the, the restaurants, the, the cafes. There's more cafes than uh, than grocery store anyway. So. And the market is there a market? The, the, yeah, the market is is, is on the, the other okay. side. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Have to have a market. Yeah. That's another <laughs> painting. <laughs> okay. Um, late night closerie de lilas. Li, closerie lila. de, de lila. Yeah. What, what does closerie mean? Closerie is is uh, it's uh, how do you call that? Uh, you know where you keep your plants in the winter in a. Mm. It's an enclosure. In enclosure, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And is this a, is this a restaurant? Uh, that's yes. a that's a restaurant. A very famous restaurant in Paris. It, it looks yeah. famous. It looks elegant, actually. So, yeah, it was Hemingway's favorite place yeah, when he was in Paris. It's very inviting. It wants me to go to he Paris. Lives, yeah. yeah. You think Paris is as elegant as it was, as romantic as it was? These days, I mean, there have been political changes. Well, so far, yeah, but I mean, this year has been a bad year, but, uh, you know, with what happened to Notre Dame burning and then yeah, uh, yeah. all the, not the riots, but the protest in the street. So. You know, Guy, they're taking proposals for modern art for the redecoration of Notre Dame as it is rebuilt. Have you thought about making a proposal? Uh, no, I don't think we so. We should talk. You and <laughs> I don't see what I could and do. Me and uh, I would talk after you, you, the show. you have a connection with the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have racetrack. This is a perfect Hawaii scene, taken out of the 19th century. It was so popular under the under royalty. Well, yeah, the, this is the uh, that was part of the commission by the uh, uh, Hawaii State. It, is it the archives? Hawaii State? The Hawaii State Foundation for yeah, Culture Foundation and the Art. Yeah. Yeah. Is this in the so I did, I did 12 paintings for them. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the, the theme of the project was called Hawaii's Forgotten Places and People. That was so a commission. The West Track, by the state, yeah. And the West Track was one of them. I think the other one was the Opera House. Oh, the Opera House, also very important yeah. historically, right next to the Judiciary Building. Exactly. And then now we've, we've dead and... Uh, Mark, we have a project to do something for the Iolani Palace. Oh, based well, based well. on what I did for the state before, the, uh, the Opera House. And I think there's one here also in the... So you're working on one for Iolani Palace now? 
that's that's why we are talking be. on. Okay. Oh, gee, I, I can hardly wait to see that one. Okay, we only have a couple left, and this really touched me: the Chinese ball in Maui. In no, that, I think that was in the Chinese little... ball by the Chinese merchants of Lahaina, all oh, and Honolulu, both. Yeah. In uh, 1856, at the wedding of King Kamehameha IV and his bride Emma, Queen Emma, as it were, at the old courthouse on Queen Street. Ah, it was here. That's right. Yeah. What, what would you like to, us to remember about this paper? Well, again, this is this is what we. That was the part of this project is to, uh, you know, this is in, state in, in, in my yeah, but in my own style. So that means you know, not just a painting of a building, but to bring life to it, to bring the spirit of Hawaii, like you said. And that, so, because uh, you know, I, I had no idea how people, <clears throat> especially Chinese, you know, how they how they play in those days. Thing, but that's something I came out of my mind, you know, and then, then uh, it's hard to say, but if you go to the details, it's... This hanging I, in the, in the yeah. State uh, Foundation? Yeah. In the museum? That's, uh, it, well, I think it's in all the public buildings, yes. not, not one in particular. Oh, so, public building, so. okay. Well, I must say, this, this really touched me when I saw this. I love this one, and I know exactly where this would go in my house. Okay, oh. well, wait a... Uh, <laughs> Ask uh, Mark can help you on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we have a, a book, I guess. Pua Pua Lena Lena. Yeah, that what, was what is this with the, the, the dancing dog, of course? Yeah. Well, that was the first book. That that's all. That's about forty years ago or more. Uh, published by Island Heritage, and uh, which I did. I did five or six books for Island Heritage. Right. That one uh, we. Probably printed for, I'm thinking, 20 or 25 years. Yeah, so you... It's, it's out of print now. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. But we resurrected it a couple of different times. So and, now it's a collector's item. Yes, yeah. it is. So where can we get these uh, paintings? Where can we see them? Where, where can we tell us the universe of where these paintings are available? Well, it, I, I'm not that close <laughs> to... I, I know he's in Lahaina Galleries. Uh, here and uh, on the West Coast. Yeah, it's mostly uh, <clears throat> Lahaina Gallery in Maui, uh, Hawaii, and uh, Newport Beach. Uh, otherwise, uh, and then also I have a gallery in uh, in Napa, Napa Valley called uh, Jessel Gallery, and then um, probably forgot, uh, but. You know, that's a total of six galleries, which keeps me busy all the time. Yeah, I have one last question that I'd like uh, to please, know about, please. and that is, you know, you've been painting a long time, since you were 12, when your parents gave you some paints. You um, know a lot of things about me. <laughs> I forgot it's about It's easy you. to find out about you, Guy. Yeah. You're everywhere. <laughs> so that's a long time. And uh, I'd like to know if you would tell me, what, you know, how your perception of the world and your, um, your painting, you know, your, your involvement, your engagement in the art of painting. The, heard that, the art of painting? It's not redundant. <laughs> the art of painting has changed. And where are you now? Well, you know, I'm, at best, you know, I, I try to stay myself, not, you know, have an optimist, optimistic look on life and then... Uh, and like I said, you know, I, I left the islands now, but Hawaii is still in my heart and will we'll be there forever. So, you know, it it's, shows. That, it's that spirit of Hawaii and that maybe the, the sense of humor that's probably, uh, you know, very Gallic French thing that let me survive. And the only thing I have to know is just keep on going. You know? And thank God I have a lot of projects still. And not only in, in Hawaii, but in California and in New York. So I have a lot. lot well, it's not know. only that Hawaii is in your heart. See? It's you are in Hawaii's heart. You oh, are. Oh, that's too you, much. <laughs> you are connected. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for covering Hawaii. Thank you for including Hawaii. Um, 
your your work is really extraordinary, and, uh, and I'm very honored to have you here in the show. So, uh, Dale, can we ask you to close? And that means you have a burden of, of telling the people, you know, what they should have noticed today, uh, what they could have learned today had they listened carefully, um, and what is it about this show that makes it special? Well, I think uh, Guy is special, and as we talked about earlier, his work is all over the world, um, and he is focused on so many different special destinations. Uh, the Champs Elysees in France, Paris, is where he may have gotten started, but he's taken that culture and that lifestyle and concept to many countries all over the world. And I think that we in Hawaii should be grateful, but I love seeing his work when I'm traveling. Fabulous. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you have found a common denominator among all the places you visited and enjoyed and painted. Uh, the common denominator, I think, has something to do with whimsy and good humor and finding, you know, the best in people and places. And you carry that through in every location, which is really so, speaks yeah. volumes, yeah. Well stated. Thank you, Guy. Thank you, thank you. Merci bien. Merci, mon vieux. Merci. A tout à l'heure. Thank you so much for thank coming you. down. Merci. You guys are great. It's good seeing you. <laughs>